Welcome to another part of the ISM exercise set Microeconomics, this time with a unit on trade. Let's have a look at the corresponding exercise. Here we have bread and pudding pretzels are produced in Macroasia and Micronesia. The production of a bread in Macroasia takes 1.2 minutes and the production of a pretzel 3 minutes. Micronesia, the production of a bread takes 75 seconds and the production of a pretzel 4 minutes. Then, our task, first, which of the two countries has an absolute cost advantage for which of the two goods? Part B, for which of the two products do the two countries each have a comparative cost advantage? And C, which of the following exchange ratios will be established between Macroasia and Micronesia? Then we have 1 to 1. 3 to 1 or 5 to 1. Okay, for this we can work our way from part to part. So we start with the first one by first summarizing the information from the text into this table. So we have the production costs for one bread, one pretzel in minutes. And well, if we take a look here, then we see with regards to bread. It's easier to make this in Macroasia because they only need 1.2 minutes and the pretzels as well. They only take 3 instead of 4 minutes. So with regards to absolute cost advantages, Macroasia has an absolute cost advantage in bread and in pretzels. Okay, but in this condition trade could not occur. So what we are going to focus on instead are comparative cost advantages. And for these, we first need the opportunity costs. The opportunity costs we get relatively easy. We just consider for each country what they can do best. Or in other words, how much of the other unit they have to give up to produce one more unit of the corresponding good. Okay, how does this translate into um, what we are actually calculating here? So if we want to know for Macratia, the opportunity cost for bread, we're actually dividing the 1.2 cost for bread by the 3 for pretzels. So here we get 0 0.4. Then we do the same thing the other way around. For the pretzels, we divide the 3 for pretzels by the 1.2 for bread. And then the same for Micronesia. So here we go with the 1.25 divided by 4. That's opportunity cost for bread in Micronesia and we go with 4 divided by 1.25 that's the 3.2 that's the opportunity cost for pretzels in Micronesia. We can interpret them in the following way that one pretzel in Micronesia takes the time of 2.5 breads. That's basically the relation and the way to interpret these opportunity costs. Okay, if we know this, then we can directly take a look now for each of the two goods, who has the lowest opportunity costs. And well, with bread, that's Micronesia, and with pretzels, that's Macroasia. Because here, the values are correspondingly smaller than the other ones. Okay, this means if trade occurs, Macroasia will speci uh, specialize itself on pretzels, Micronesia on bread. Okay, so far so good. So this can already be answered with regards to the opportunity cost. But the exchange rate can also be answered with regards to the opportunity costs. Because what we can do here is, first we consider the most expensive good. The most expensive good that here is the pretzels. Then we take something like the average of the corresponding opportunity costs. So here we have 2.5 and 3.2. So what we can do if we um, take the average, the average is somewhere around 3 or 2.8, 2.9. With this in mind, we can observe the three possible exchange rates. And here we see the exchange rate 3 to 1 is closest to the opportunity costs for pretzels. So the 3, the first value for 3, is the closest to the as I said, 2.8 to 3 for the opportunity cost for pretzels. So it's the exchange rate 3 to 1, which will most likely occur. And well, 
That's all there is to this exercise. So I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you're looking for additional exercises, feel free to visit the rest of the exercise set or have a look in the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.